What's going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So I know it's been a while, I know like I, I took way too long with this uh, and we're still like at the beginning so from now on I'm gonna try to upload at least three times a week and I'm gonna try my best to upload every single day if I can, I might not do daily uploads for now, just until I get my um, desk set up. But once I finish setting up my new desk, because I've been moving, um, I'm going to do daily uploads, like either daily uploads or twice a day. So yeah, please look forward to that. But for, for, for this while, just bear with me for a moment, okay? So in the previous episode, we created an NPC character, which is like the beginning of making our enemy and we made it using a the same character blueprint that we made but we also made um where is it one moment yeah we we made it um where the event graph no it wasn't here uh it was um in this ai folder npc ai over here so this is the way our enemy works but I'm going to change it right now. I'm going to start using uh, behavior trees. I know, like I said before, that I'm not going to use behavior trees. But uh, I changed my mind because it's the the definitive way to make characters, like make AI using Unreal. So I'm very sorry about that. But at least we learned a... Like, it, there's no loss in doing that. You learned a way to do things like even if you're not going to use it you learned it and knowledge is very very valuable so yeah it's not it's not a big mess up but from now on we're going to start working on behavior trees now in today's video i'm i'm just going to do what i did in the previous video um but this time um in in the behavior trees and in tomorrow's video i'm actually going to start um working on the uh, like I'm going to continue working on the AI and I'm gonna make it like patrol to specific areas that you want to use now there are two methods for patrolling so I'm still like looking at the best way to do it but for now um, we're just gonna do the like the character picks a random location goes to it and um, waits there but um yeah let's get started but yeah before we get started i wanted to uh invite you guys to join my discord server which is astrum sensei game devs joint forces over here we talk a lot about game development and this tutorial series and we also talk about other things like there's still uh only 29 members but uh, yeah i kind of just want to make it like a big little community for us so yeah make sure you join it like even if you have questions about this you can just come in and ask me anything so yeah make sure to join i'll be waiting for you <laughs> so yeah let's get started the first thing i did is um in this ai folder i entered and i cleared everything up and right now uh, like i didn't delete them i only moved them to the blueprints folder i'm going to delete them later when i'm cleaning up after i finish this but yeah for now just put them back here and now the ai folder is empty so yeah over here in the ai folder the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new um ai or is it ai blueprint so you would press blueprint and you go to the search and type AI controller and Dieter Crowd AI controller is the one we used so yeah this time I'm going to name it NPC AI whoops okay one moment I'm going to rename it with the cap locks caps lock on NPC AI okay and now we're also going to create a new behavior tree which is like the main thing <laughs> of the, like the main theme of this video <laughs> i know that sounds silly 
Oh my god, the waiting. I really hate it. Come on, Unreal. Don't make me wait so long. Okay, so yeah. We go to the blueprints area and we create a... No, not the blueprints. The artificial intelligence. And we create a new behavior tree. So, yeah. I'm gonna name it behavior tree AI. Okay, I'm not going to enter it for now. I'm also going to create a new blackboard. It's also in the artificial intelligence area over here. I'm going to call it BB underscore NPC. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go inside the NPC AI in the NPC controller and go to the event graph. And in the event begin play, what we're going to do is we're going to like we're going to run our behavior tree so that when our NPC AI is applied to our character blueprint the NPC AI runs the behavior tree that we've just created so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type run behavior tree and the asset is behavior tree underscore AI, which is the one that we've just created. And the target is self, so yeah. Now I'm going to go into my behavior tree and over here is the root. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag out a new node, which is called a sequence. The sequence runs things in order, so over here is number one and over here is number two. So yeah, we're going to start with the first thing in the sequence, which is move to. And the other one will be wait. So right now the character will move, then we'll wait. And the wait time, we'll just edit it later. Now let's focus on the move to asset. Also over here in the root one, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and select our blackboard asset, which is like the one we've just created also. So yeah, put it here and now we're going to go to the blackboard and go to the, we're going to create a new key, which is a vector. We're going to name it target location. I like to put, um, spaces between my uh, variable names and it has to be a vector because it's a location on the map so yeah now we're gonna go back to the behavior tree and we're going to add our blackboard which is uh, we're gonna add it to the move to no wait I, I, I think okay yeah here it is target location it's already added by itself so yeah now what we're going to do is we're going to, with um, move to selected, we're going to create... Oh, oh wait, no, it doesn't have to be selected. <laughs> uh, we're going to create a new service. And before we start working on our service, we're going to rename it. Now, um, what a service is, is um, it's almost like a blueprint. Like, it's a blueprint, but... Uh, like you apply it to the nodes on the behavior trees. I know, like, it's hard to explain. I don't know how to. I think you'll understand as time passes. Like, after we finish this, I'll explain again. So, yeah. I'm going to call it service set target location. And in the service, um, we're going to, one moment, okay, yeah, we're going to add our service here, so we right click, uh, yeah, right click and add service, service set target location, which is the one we've just created. Okay, so now it's added, now we're going to go back to the service. and type receive activation AI events receive activation AI 
and from the control pawn we want to get actor location so the character gets there from their location they get a without a they get a random reachable point in radius and our radius is going to be maybe mm, 500 for now and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable which is going to be called bb key which is blackboard key and it's going to be a blackboard key selector we're going to and then we're going to set blackboard value as vector and our key will be bb key and this one or is it this one will be connected to this one and I think that's it for now yeah I think this is everything for now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our behavior tree and change our wait time now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it three seconds and the random deviation will be five seconds so randomly sometimes it might wait five seconds but most of the times it's going to wait three seconds so yeah let's test it out now here's our character bp base we're gonna go inside and change our ai right now it's the old one we created in the previous episode which is npc ai um the one i'm going to create will be wait a minute I think I messed up one thing, which is I named them the same thing. So I'm going to rename this one quickly. I'm going to call it AI NPC. That way we can distinguish between the two. So yeah, we're going to go back to the, our BP base and we're going to add it to our character. So right now it's AI NPC. So yeah, we added it. Let's compile and try this thing. Um, there's one thing we can do, which is, um, you know what, for now it's good. Okay. Now let's try it out and see how it goes. Make sure you have a, um, nav mesh bounds volume in your level or else the character just won't move. So yeah, there they are. It's waiting. Okay, it stopped waiting. I think we need to make the radius a bit bigger. Okay, there are things we can edit. First thing, we're gonna go to our set service, like set our service, and we're going to change our radius to uh, two thousand, I think. Yeah, that would be great. And um, we're going to go to our behavior tree and change the wait time. I'm gonna make the normal one, um, maybe five seconds, and the deviation three seconds, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah. Okay, let's follow her around. As you can see, she's getting a random reachable point and she's walking to it and she's waiting. Let's move out of the way. Okay, it's all good. Now I'm going to stay in the game, like keep it running, and show you how you show you guys how it's working. So in the first one we created, which is the AI NPC, 
Uh, I think it's basic. We just don't need to run our behavior tree so that they're linked. I think you already understand it. And over here is the way to... The game's not running, or what? Okay, one moment. I'm going to stop the game from running. And I'm going to put my character, my begin play outside the um, nav mesh bounds, and I'm going to play it in the selected viewport. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to eject and see the game running like like this. As you can see, it's working. So right now we're going to take a look at the blueprints. She's waiting. As you can see, she's waiting. Right now she's getting a random, like she's moving and getting a location, a reachable location. Now she's waiting. Now inside our service, we're gonna take a look. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see it. I don't know. Where is it? Yeah, it's not gonna be, um, like they're not gonna light up. But uh, yeah, we get the actor location from the controlled pond. Like the controlled pond is our actor location. We get from it a random reachable point from radi and radius, like a random reachable point around our character. I think I already, I already explained that in a previous video. And we get the we set the blackboard value as a vector, which is the BB key. Uh, and yeah, that way it's link. It's also linked to. Like, it changes the blackboard value, I think. I don't know. So, yeah. It works. I'm sorry for the short video. I really wanted to make... I wanted to add patrolling into this video as well. Because, like, we already made a smaller ver variation of this in the previous video. But, yeah, this one works better. Trust me. So, yeah, I really advise you guys to just follow this method instead of the previous video. And, uh, yeah... Please look forward to tomorrow because I'm going to upload another video and I'm going to try my best to keep uploading videos for you guys. I know I've been really inconsistent with these videos and you guys are really liking them. So yeah, I'm very sorry about that. Also, please join my Discord server. I know uh, it's, it's a very important matter for me. So yeah, make sure to join. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is... Um, I'm also creating my own game, which is like, no, it's not an RPG, uh, it's a horror game. I'm going to make a video about it, but yeah, I really hope you guys are looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Take care and make sure to subscribe, okay?